That's right, it's going to cost you a little bit extra at the pumps moving forward. The gas tax going up another two cents. That's going to bring the total you're paying per gallon to 26 cents. Now, all that money does go to fix the roads and different infrastructure projects. So we decided to ask drivers how they feel about that trade-off. We got to do what we got to do, so we got to make the best of it. South Carolina drivers will now pay 26 cents per gallon in taxes. That money goes to fund major road work like the Gateway Project and road resurfacing. But some drivers say the money should come from somewhere else. Rich and poor alike, everyone drives and has to pay for gas. Combine the added taxes with the usual jump in prices seen over the holiday weekend, and it's making some reevaluate their travel plans. I might have to cut some trips, you know, stay a little local when it's up, but when it go down, hey, I hit the highway. We spoke with a recent transplant from New York State. He says he made the move to avoid taxes, so he's not happy about this increase. I was not aware that it's incrementally going up two cents at a time. Uh, you have to be careful because taxes will ultimately drive people to reconsider where they're living. One more two cent increase is scheduled to go into effect next year on July 1st. The state says it will end up generating six billion dollars for infrastructure projects. We asked if that has this former New Yorker planning another move. He says absolutely not. Two cents is two cents in the wrong direction. However, the ambiance of Southern living far exceeds the ugliness of New York State. So it's probably a good thing Ted's off today, throwing some shade to his home state there. But to add some perspective, the gas tax in New York State's 43 cents per gallon here. Again, 26 cents per gallon. So South Carolina still ranks pretty low when it comes to the overall gas prices. Morgan Ann.